<laughs> what is the career path of a machine learning engineer? Sure. So the short answer is anything. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of different paths that you can go uh, from being a machine learning engineer. So an obvious path would be to becoming a senior machine learning engineer, which is typically just acquired from either working in the same place for a while or just working as a machine learning engineer for a very long time, or not even a very long time. I mean, it could just be a couple of years to really just get that solid experience. But also, if you want to become a data scientist, there's a lot of overlap between what a machine learning engineer works on and a data scientist works on. Um, if you want to become a machine learning researcher, there's a lot of opportunity there. And that could be just through industry or even going back to get an advanced degree uh, if you don't already have one and are interested in doing so. You can also transition to being an engineer and really any other discipline if you want to work on let's say databases or data pipelines or even you know web backends or front ends uh, the, the, the sky is really the limit here there's there's anything you, you could do anything that you want um, but in terms of so, so those are all technical roles but it also sets you up very well to move into non-technical or less technical roles I should say in terms of something like management or project management um, especially for, for a field like project management there's a lot of value to be had if you have that technical know-how but also have the uh, I guess what I like to call the soft skills or interested in gaining those soft skills to be able to take on a role like that um, there really, uh, there really is a lot that you can do here. Uh, I, I don't think that, uh, I mean, you don't have to be a machine learning engineer forever if you don't want to, but you also could, and it would be a really exciting and interesting career. Um, I personally think that this discipline is here to stay for a while. I mean, so many companies are interested in learning or taking this stuff on in their enterprises. And while there are a lot doing it now, there are certainly uh, a lot that aren't and are looking to and you know need people and uh, to come in and build this stuff and roll for a while. Um, so yeah, so, so just to go back to, to I guess, my original answer, uh, the, the sky really is the limit here. And it, it, it'll allow you to, it, it'll definitely open you up to a lot of opportunities, uh, depending on what your interests are. So I guess my, my best advice here is to try it. And then if, you're, if you really like it, great. If you think you might be interested in something else, then you know, go learn more about it. Just do a quick search online for how to become this thing as uh, just how to become this thing or even how to become this thing from uh, as being a machine learning engineer. And you know, there's people, people on the internet talking all about this stuff. Great. It's Brad, what do you think, what are the be, uh, which are the best companies uh, to work for aspiring ML engineers? Sure. So I don't think there's necessarily like objectively best companies. Um, I think there are a lot of great companies out there that are doing work in machine learning, such as, you know, the the open AIs and the, the Googles and the Facebooks of the world are, you know, of, of course, hiring lots of researchers and doing a lot of work um, in that sense. But I don't necessarily think that the end all be all is to necessarily work at one of these, you know, large or like larger tech companies. I think that there are uh, lots of great companies out there that are doing awesome machine learning work, a lot of startups, a lot of research labs, and there's, there's just no shortage. Um, I think what I would like to comment on are things that you should look for when you're looking at a, for a company to uh, potentially come on board with. Uh, as a machine learning engineer. Um, I think some questions that you should ask are like, what, you know, what are some of the problems that you're working on? I think it's also good for you to identify some of the problems that you want to work on. So for instance, if you want to, let's say, be a computer vision, you know, you want to work in computer vision, then you should look for a company that has those sorts of problems. Or if you want to be working on text data or financial data or recommendation systems. Um, there are a lot of companies and a lot of really interesting startups that are doing this sort of work. And I think it's good to really have an idea of the sort of things that you want to be working on. And then do your due diligence and you know do some research and see what these companies are and where I can find them and how I can potentially um, get, uh, you know, just get in front of someone and be able to pitch yourself and hopefully get an interview and just, um, and just take it from there. But I also think it is, it is good to just, uh, in, in the event that you do get there, I think it's good to just ask, you know, like, like I mentioned earlier, what are the problems you're working on? You know, what sort of data do you have? Um, do you have the necessary infrastructure to be actually begin working on machine learning problems? And I think that uh, there are a lot of companies out there who are a little bit ahead of themselves in terms of saying, okay, I don't currently do a lot of work in data science, but I want to but you also need to have the appropriate infrastructure and have data engineers working on those pipelines and having those data warehouses set up for you so that you can actually 
access this data and begin to make better utilization of it. Um, so I think it's just really good to get a picture of what you'll actually be working on um, before you, yeah, before you make the plunge into, into a new company. But to just to answer the original question, um, I, I don't like to say that there are best companies. I think it sort of depends on anything that you're interested in working on. Thank you so much for the lovely answer, Brad. What do you think, uh, like uh, what job search strategy would you recommend to land job in machine learning? Sure. So I'll start off by saying the one thing that I don't recommend doing is cold applying it to companies on, uh, on job listings. I, I, I think that it's very difficult. So statistically speaking, um, it's actually very unlikely that if you send out a bunch of resumes to people that they, some of them just won't even be seen, you know, objectively, there's just some companies receive so many applications that it can be very difficult um, for the hiring managers to even read through all of them. So the odds are just against you. And there are cases of people who have been hired through these job listings. I know people that have applied and have gotten very lucky and have gotten responses. But truthfully, I think the best answer, uh, I mean, the, the best way to, to get a job is through a referral. Um, whether it's someone you know, a family member, a friend, a friend of a friend, a friend of a friend of a friend, you know, it's like whoever you know who can just submit you a referral, who can talk to you for a little bit and just give you an idea of what you're working on. Um, that's really the best way to do it. And if you don't necessarily know anyone, then I think a great way to, um, to do that is to go meet people, you know, go to meetups, reach out to people on LinkedIn and say, hey, you know, I, I'm potentially interested in the field. I saw you have an awesome background. Would you mind if I asked you? Just a couple questions, uh, you know. I don't don't necessarily don't send them the questions. Just ask them if they could, uh, if they wouldn't mind answering some of your questions, because then it allows them to say, you know what, like, sure, go ahead, or you know, I don't really have the time. I apologize. Um, but yeah, definitely meet people. Uh, you know, the, a common phrase that we hear is it's who you, you know, it's who you know. And I couldn't agree more. And you know, a lot of the positions that I've landed have just been through meeting people at conferences, at meetups. Most meetups are free uh, if you're working. You know, if, if you happen to live in a, a big city and there's a, uh, a machine learning community there, just go to meetups and just you know introduce yourself and talk to people. A lot of people at these meetups are there to meet people too. So you know, never feel pressure to just go up and talk to someone. And if that person's not interested in talking, that's fine. You know, there's tons of other people there. Um, so I think that, yeah, just going out and meeting people and networking, 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 networking is uh, really important. Um, I also think that having an online presence helps a lot. So if you are working on these projects and completing these different courses, uh, start a blog, start a website, you know, tweet about it, you know, be someone who is sharing useful content on Twitter or create your LinkedIn and, um, you know, put all this stuff on your LinkedIn. I also do see, uh, feel that if you, if you start to build out your LinkedIn presence that uh, you will get reached out to by recruiters, spe especially if you're living in a big city. And that's definitely one way to do it and just get on the phone with these recruiters and learn a bit more about the sort of uh, projects that they're working on and anything that they can refer to you. Um, yeah, but again, uh, I do feel that just cold, uh, you know, cold sending out of a resume is a very um, low likelihood of actually getting a position um, because it might seem like this is a, you know, like it's really awesome for you to be able to send that out, but it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's just an, a, another resume to, unfortunately to, you know, to a lot of hiring managers. So you, you would uh, to just, yeah, I, I would definitely say try to avoid doing that and spend your time instead going to meetups and working on your online presence and attempting to land a job that way.